welcome back to JSA TV, where we're coming to you today live on day two of DCD Connect here in London. And I'm joined by Ian Wilkinson, who is the Channel Sales Manager Data Centers for Relco. 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 And we can say Relco because as of, I mean, if we had chatted earlier this week, yep. I would have introduced you as, as Kohler Energy, uh, but that's changed. So tell us about that. Kohler Energy is now RELCO. So yeah, so uh, it's, we're, we're now RELCO. I mean, I guess historically, uh, you know, as under Kohler, under the Kohler Energy brand, of course, or, or group, yeah. um, you know, we are now, uh, as, as we're working going forward as an independent uh, under, um, under an investment company. So yeah, so we're really excited uh, about the, the the opportunity. I think that that, that opens up for us, um, and I guess from a, a realistic perspective, you know, we are an energy division. We were an energy division within within Cola, so none of that really changes. Uh, mm -hmm. We're just doing it as as, a, as an independent under an, under a different um, investment arm, I guess. Okay, yeah, and I mean, yeah. So it it, it feels like big news, but it's really semantics in a way where yeah. you know a change of brand you know some some new energy though in, into yeah. the business yeah, and I guess, yeah because yeah. i think i think um i think when you um i mean you know brand is a is of course it's really important to send strong messages out to the market yeah. um but you you work you work with your colleagues you work on your products you work with your customers and again you know without repeating myself that doesn't change we still we're going to get up and do exactly the same thing, but like you say, with uh, hopefully a bit more, a bit more yeah. uh, excitement. And so, in in sort of another focus that I wanted to talk about is just another thing that you've been doing for a long time, yep. um, but have sort of accelerated, and and that is your latest initiative around the environmental. Uh, product declaration product and so declaration. I say not it's new because I know Kohler Energy which is now Relco uh, you know you've been focused on sustainability for a long time yeah of course uh, so tell us about this latest initiative yeah so I can't I guess it builds on what we've what we've done in the past um, for example you know we were the first generator manufacturer in the world uh, to approve the use of HVO across the board about with our machines and of course we did that because of customers customers demand that we're demanding that from us um, you know, and this is the next stage. We are the first manufacturer to uh, to publish public, publish the P EPDs. Uh, so the clients again spec specifiers, customers, and users. Um, they've been coming to us for, for probably a couple of years, asking us for our CO two impact. Um, yeah. And it's, how can I put it, it's, it's complicated, right? I mean, yeah. we've actually done it to an ISO standard, ISO 42025, I believe. And we've actually done the more rigorous version of that. So it's the type three. So it's literally from extracting the raw material from the ground right through its life cycle. Yeah. Uh, even, even, can you believe even delivering the product, the, the packaging that's used and how that can be recycled, the fuel that it uses during its lifetime and ultimately, when it's at the end of its life, which is could be as much as forty years, uh, the actual recycling and how much of that of that machine, if you like, could be recycled. Mm -hmm. And I think we believe that we can recycle about sixty percent of that machine after mm -hmm. forty years. Yeah. So yeah, so it, it's it's something that we know. You know, I guess our customers are are going are driving towards net zero, and of course, the first thing that they need to do is measure their total impact right. and the state and obviously the scope three is a big part of that and we're part of that scope three for that so yeah we're giving and, them the information that they need yeah and 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 such a you know i want to say say uh, brave but also just a sign of a real commitment to the importance of this to the yeah. to the industry as a whole to your customers um that you're able to take this this um, these measures uh, to be able to provide this information for yeah, your absolutely. clients yeah it's really important yeah. and like I say, it's um, it's something that I I think we all have a responsibility, um, you know, a personal responsibility, and, and I guess and, and I think when you when you work for a company or with a company that has that those wants that you know shares the same view as you, yeah. um, I think that kind of goes it sort of works its way through the whole organisation. Yeah. 
that's, that's right. really important. Yeah, that is. And so in addition to, to this, the product declaration, are there other in initiatives around sustainability that, that you can share? Yeah, I mean, one thing again that we've been talking to our customers about recently in the last sort of 12 months is about, it, we, it, we call it conscious care, uh, which is a, an operational, um, a way of operating your machines. And again, you know, these are, you know, our machines are in standby, it's providing standby power. So they're not the primary source of power for the, for the data center. So they're sitting in there in standby mode. And our customers, um, if you like, exercise those machine on a regular basis, because clearly they want to know if they have a power outage that those machines will, will start and take, the, and take the load of the data center. But quite often the machines are exercised when they don't need to be exercised. Mm -hmm. uh, the analogy I always use is, I guess, you know, you don't start your car on a Sunday night knowing you want to go to work in the, on it on a Monday. Right. We kind of know it's going to start. Yeah. We hope it will. Yeah. Well, it will. Yes. I mean, it yeah. will, you know, with good maintenance. Right. And so, yeah. so we've been talking to our customers over the last 12 months about, you know, as long as, you know, we'll help you understand the health of that machine. You don't actually have to start it. To understand right. that it will start and we can so we help them with things like condition monitoring of the batteries the, the fuel system and so they've got the con so they don't feel as though they need to switch that machine on just to see if it will start or not mm -hmm. and of course that that you you, you don't lose fuel uh, so you, your carbon impact again is is lower right even when these machines don't run yeah. and we don't want them it sounds a crazy thing to say but we don't want them to run right you know, no, no, that makes a lot of sense. Just, yeah. Now I understand during the show we mentioned stay two, and and I think later I think later today yep. is it that you're recording a podcast. I am. Can you tell us a little bit about well, that? Well, I'm going to be doing it on a similar topic actually. Okay. I'm yeah. doing it on the pet, on the eco. Makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So quite a big stage I've noticed down. It is a big so, stage. Yeah. yeah, it's a great venue. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you been enjoying the show? Has yeah, it been yeah. It's been a great show. Successful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's you great. know a lot of. I guess you always get the. The name, then they look at the guys on the stand and go, What's Wait the, a minute, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, and, and it, you see the, the, the right, you know. right, 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 so yes, of course, you know, that takes time. That's part of the, the retraining, of, the re educating the market, right, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's great. I mean, it's something, like I say, something to talk about. It's, um, it gives you an opportunity to explain your business, right? Maybe. It gives you something new to talk new to about, talk about, I guess, about. right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so sort of as we wrap up here, then any sort of, I, forward thinking i mean you've we've been talking a little bit of well a lot about yes. all of the uh, areas that you're focused on especially around sustainability but as you look forward what do you think's the most important for the industry and and for relco to be focused on in the future uh, i think i think it's you know our, our product will continue to develop for sure yeah you know we're we're in a, again a fortunate position um, we have a really good generator platform, if you like, to build on, and that will, we will continue to, you know, produce less emissions. We will continue to improve performance. Uh, we'll in, again, well, we'll improve the way that we monitor engines and and the amount of information that we'll that we'll allow, not allow, that we'll give access, to, if you like, to the customer too. So they again, they've got that. They understand our product better. Um, but really, I, I guess it's just about getting more out of the same product in reality. Uh, so, you know, that'll be the next that I think. And I think we all we know that the demand of data centers will continue to grow and the amount of space that they'll that they'll consume will become small or more and more challenged. Yeah. So that again, that's part of answering that, that conundrum, right. as it were. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, my last question for you is how can people find you now? It has that changed. I mean, you're no. here obviously. So yeah, yeah. people hopefully can see you and, and, and yeah. come see me. So you speak later, but how can they find you? Well, after obviously today? I'm on the booth uh, today. Uh, so booth 14, I believe. Uh, so come and see us. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I'd love to come talk, to, come talk to us about your, your generator, your generator needs. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining it's us. A Always a pleasure to connect with you and congratulations on the, the rebrand and, and all of the work that you've been doing and continue to do, you and your team. Thanks so very thank, much. You. thank you. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in again to JSA TV live here today at DCD Connect in London. 
until next time.